Okay. Okay, guys. So, as you know, Islam has five pillars. Whereas Toastmasters has only two, which are speech craft and mentorship. See, it's a great. And personally speaking, I'm really interested and intrigued by uh, mentorship simply because I'm an educator. And as an educator, I'm required to spend my whole life being a mentor and a mentee at the same time. So this very concept, the concept of mentorship is of you know, paramount importance to me. So, but what is a mentor? Well, as you know, some people define this term as someone who helps you or keeps a track of your progress while you are in your you know, uh, Toastmasters journey. But to my mind, a mentor is a brave person and should be brave. That is, he should go and explore and read whatever he can read to provide a model or philosophy that can be, you know, guidance to, you know, his mentees. So I, I like to put it, you know, this way, the, the definition of a mentor, being brave, try to create a model that you and your mentees can follow. Okay, so uh, when I was a Green Toast Master, okay, when I was a newbie, I had uh, two great mentors uh, who were Ibrahim and Abbas. And these two great guys taught me a lot, some good stuff, okay? And that's what a great mentor would do including me, I would do that for my mentees. However, I don't like to stop at this level. Why don't we just go even further? Why don't we just even, you know, try to adapt the Toastmasters material to our environment? And I have my reasons, okay? The first reason is we are not native English speakers. We are struggling here. We have to learn everything, okay? We are not exposed to a native English environment, okay? And the second reason is that the world has different cultures, different costumes, and different stuff. So we have to adapt the material. Let me give you an example. If you ask uh, a soldier, what's your best friend? He would say, my weapon, right? And if you ask a devoted believer, what's your best friend? He would say, my holy book. See, different, di different mindsets. And the third reason is that members, just like uh, language learners, Toastmasters members will always have different levels in the public speaking domain. So we need to adapt our material. We need to understand, we need to feel our mentees. And then, you know, we can provide them with some, you know, good stuff. Okay, so let me give you an example. A few months ago, I read an amazing article in one of Toastmasters magazines. And this article, the writer suggests, um, you know, a, a model that if you follow, you can create a strong speech introduction. So in this, in this model, you have five points to follow. For example, the first point is grabbing the audience's attention with the narrative hook. You need to hook your audience's attention. For example, if you are talking about depression, you can say that, you know what? 50% of the adult population experiences to uh, depression today. Dude, that's amazing, you know? Mind blowing, like 50%. I don't know, maybe I'm depressed myself. <laughs> anyway, and then you can state your topic just to avoid confusion. 
and then explain the topic and why it is re relevant and should be interesting to them and then establish a credibility like for example if you are talking about depression you can say that i'm a therapist you can trust me i know what i'm saying etc and then try to pre-structure your whole speech by stating the points that you are going to tackle anyway this is a model you can follow but this model might not fit with our environment or in our environment because we have some newbies right we have some you know inexperienced members we have to you know the the mentees and, I, and i'm talking about the mentees the the new members for example you can choose only some points from these points okay you can adapt it you can change it you can do whatever with it okay the last thing is that here are the the, the four you know points that i would like to uh, that i would like you to to focus on if you're a mentor first be a confident make your mentee trust you tell him that or tell her that there is no hard feelings uh you can't trust me and whatever i say don't take it personally okay i'm here to help you and the second point is that be altruistic which means be willing to give knowledge because knowledge is not is not money although you know like giving knowledge means being generous i do believe in that and the third point is that be knowledgeable and last uh, be patient because being an educator a mentor whatever you have to be patient to help your mentee so thank you so much guys that's it